Hello everyone, so I was just on Reddit and I was reading about this OnLive desktop product that just went live. Uh, well, okay, so it went live uh, earlier this year, I guess, but the plus version of the product, the, the pay, uh, the, the monthly subscription service just went live. And what that gives you, uh, the, the product itself is a uh, it's a desktop, a Windows 7 desktop that you can see on your iPad uh, or Android device. And the uh, it has Office products, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, that kind of thing, uh, as well as it has Internet Explorer. Now, in the regular version, it does not allow you to web browse outside of their own uh, their own little portal they have. Uh, but when you get the plus, then you can go everywhere else. You can see Flash video. You can see, uh, obviously, uh, HTML5 video, YouTube. Everything works. Uh, so, yeah, here you go. I, I went ahead and got the the subscription uh, just at least for a month to try it out and figured I'd share it with everyone so that, uh, so that you all could see it and make your own decisions on it. So, here you go. It's, it's a Windows 7 desktop. Uh, just... Like uh, uh, just like you'd expect to see here, um, and this is actually this is a Windows 7 desktop running in a server farm uh, somewhere out in the U.S. I imagine uh, it's connected to the internet uh, via a gigabit connection. It's fast. Uh, I've gone to some web pages on this. It's it's quite fast. In fact, actually now I mention it, so so it acts just like a Windows 7 desktop uh, your finger uh, acts like a mouse click when you tap on it like that um, so yeah you got the office products I've it, it's it's not really all that exciting uh, there you go it, it starts up quick I mean there you go you're you're at, uh, you're at your office screen here I'm, I'm not a big fan of Word or Excel or anything like that I use them for work but uh, don't need to use them at home thankfully so, Internet Explorer is what I was curious about. I'm, I'm a GOM fan. I'm not a huge fan of how, uh, how their web pages work through, uh, through, uh, the, the, uh, hobbled version of web browser that's on the iPad. So, this seemed like a, it might be kind of cool. Uh, so this is what you would normally only be able to see in the regular version, but, Let's go ahead and first speed test dot net. I spell that right? Yes, I did. All right. So let's see how this works. All right. Any day now, guys. All right. Found something. Four milliseconds. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you could say that the speed's pretty good. Four millisecond ping and. Uh, all right. I think those results speak for themselves. So let's go ahead and see how uh, how YouTube would work on this. And the keyboard, I really wish they had gone with the built-in keyboard, but I think this is an issue with uh, Windows 7 uh, and their, their touch screen uh, capabilities. So for video, test video, we're going to try Avengers. Avengers trailer, yeah, that one works. All right, and watch this one let's pop that up to 720p so what this is doing is it's actually uh, encoding this video and it's sending it off to the iPad so it's watching it there on the server then encoding it and sending this to our screen it's pretty quick relatively smooth It, the, okay, so the sound's a little bit off. The sound's a little bit slow. 
Oh, and it's it's fluctuating there. What are you asking me to do? It's called the Avengers Initiative. All right, so we're not going to watch the whole thing here as much as I'd like to. Oh. I thought I didn't qualify. All right. So, so yeah, there you go. Uh, there's there's really not much else on here. Uh, I mean, there's you could do some photo editing if you really wanted to. Cannot download and install applications on this. Uh, I've already tried that. Definitely will not work. You get two gigabytes of space that you can access uh, from your computer, sync files back and forth. Uh, again, you can't install anything, so uh, in, unless they choose to install something for you, you can't put your own uh, web browsing client on there. You're stuck with Internet Explorer. Uh, you can't put Dropbox on there to sync, uh, but if they don't already have some sort of syncing tool, I imagine if this keeps uh, keeps up, they'll add something like that and allow you to configure it because that's just a that seems like something obvious to add. So uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Can we? Uh, I don't see. Is there Alt? So uh, can we do multi hit here? Control Shift Escape is not bringing up Task Manager, so I'm guessing we can't run that. For those that don't know, that's actually how you uh, you bring up Task Manager, and I can understand why because they also don't have the ability to run something here, so you can't manually run stuff. I imagine that there are smart people out there right now trying to figure out how to escape this little jail they have here, but there you go. So this is on live desktop. Uh, again, Microsoft apps. You don't have to pay for these. Uh, they they do cost a pretty penny if you want to install them. Uh, so for five bucks a month, you get the, the the Microsoft apps. You get Internet Explorer. You get a smoking fast Internet connection. Uh, and the whole thing's pretty responsive. Uh, as far as watching HD video on it, mm, it's not perfect. But uh, it's it's definitely a pretty interesting workaround. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this for more than a month, but uh, definitely worth five bucks just to play with it and check out the new technology. This is this is pretty cool. And again, this is an iPad one. It's the original iPad, so that gives you an idea of how that works on the lowest. It also, uh, I think I mentioned before, Android uh, compatible. Um, I have another Android tablet. I think I'll try it on that and see uh, see how that is a tag or two. But unless there's something surprisingly different, then I'll just leave uh, this as the only video on this. Uh, perhaps more videos if they come out with new stuff. I'd love to see some sort of game tie-in where you can launch a game off this and play a game on an iPad. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. But for right now, there you go. So. Uh, this is this is a review of on live desktop and uh hope you enjoyed it